This is an overview of the Minigun Digital Asset. I'm going to install it from my tab menu. Hit enter, file loads, and the scene opens. By default, there is a ground plane and some collision geometry. I'll show you how this can be replaced later on. But right off the bat, let's just hit play and see what happens. As you can see, some bullets are flying out and they hit the collision object and uh, some debris flies out of there spent casings eject out the side and they bounce off the ground just like you'd expect them to now if I grab the handle and pull it you'll see that the gun orients correctly and I'm going to hit playback and you'll see that the bullets now have updated to uh, fly in their correct trajectory so I'm going to uh, scroll here and we can add a custom target parent to this object so if we had a moving target we could parent it parent the target to that moving object and the gun would track it automatically but in this case I'm just going to manually keyframe uh, this gun sweeping from one side to the other so I've set a keyframe now I'm moving back in time to frame 8 and I'm going to set another keyframe and hitting playback you'll see when it gets to the first keyframe it starts panning to its right and now shooting over to the other side the trigger parameter controls the rate of fire so I've turned it off and if I turn it up really high you'll see that I get many more bullets hitting the uh, collision object and all the debris falling down from the ground so you can replace this collision object by the way with your own geometry just going to uh, zoom in a bit and show you that you can turn on and off the smoke or the casings or the gun or the ammo box uh, so that these elements can be rendered separately if you uh, need so and there the whole gun can be hidden the ammo box if you don't want it there uh, is a different uh, option for a window mount as opposed to the tripod so if you're putting this in a helicopter for example and there's lots of uh, customizable attributes here we can apply our own materials so uh, the debris as it uh, as the bullets hit the object can be customized and here we can put on a, a new shader in this case a mantra surface and we can apply that to the debris so it matches uh, any other geometry that you happen to be rendering with and here I'm assigning the new shader to the debris there we go and it's about as simple as that now that's proxy geometry it renders actually as little uh, nuggets uh, little rough objects so I'm going to change the color but you won't actually see the update because these are proxies but when they render they will render any color you set them and with that new material on it and here I can hide the collision objects but more likely you'd actually want to uh, probably use your own and there's a ground object here the collision grid so maybe you have a bumpy ground or uh, bullets uh, you want them to ricochet off uh, I don't know a character or the hood of a car or something so here I'm going to add um, new geometry and just put that in place just to show you that uh, how easy it is to add a custom collision object so here I just put a grid, a grid down and I've uh, rotated it and under the bullet collision object I'm going to drag and drop this onto the field and see it's put my grid into that field and now if I play back 
it hits the object. So this could be any piece of geometry in your scene. My uh, car, a building. I'm going to move it just to show that uh, it updates correctly. And you see the uh, debris is coming down from the new location.